say that you that you eat and you never really want and then sometime at like 3 a.m you find yourself having it that's that's kind of how i envision ripple's relationship with ddd yeah i mean he def i definitely was like what do you think about this character and he was like basically just like no <laughs> like, yeah he, he still doesn't feel that good about it but uh, you know you gotta you gotta pull out the points for him. So, so tell me about this matchup. This is, oh, this is so this is so great for me. This is, this is a very, in my opinion, player to player matchup. Like, uh, I think uh, DDD struggles against anybody who just um, like uh, doesn't interact with him. He really, oh, wow. he, he really like. There's no reason Falcon has to go in. You know what I mean? There's very little threat. So, but a lot of Falcon players like to go. In. Um, You're looking at one of them. Yeah, you're looking at what O'Reilly, right? So, like, uh, it wouldn't be a surprise to me if O'Reilly struggles uh, with DDD um, because of that. Uh, but DDD definitely has some stuff once Falcon is going. In. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not so much that, like, oh, Falcon shits all of his character. There's a certain play style that's really, really hard for, for, for DDD to deal with, but most people don't want to play like that. So it's, it looks probably more even -ish. Uh than it could be if the Falcon was playing more like a Sonic would play. Sure. Okay. Cool. That's how I. Feel. But I mean, I, I could be. That's just like I have. I have weird matchup opinions. So don't don't take what uh, I, I trust you. I trust you, Judge. Yeah. On the topic of Falcon playstyle, before I forget though, I do want to point out that your tweet, uh, the nobody, me. absolutely no one, and then Illinois players about Chalupi. <laughs> we all love, we all got a kick out of that. That was oh, like yeah. the next day and. We, Dying. I'm so happy. I mean, I think it's really, really amazing that you guys have roll for your boys. Everyone has to play like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love. I, but it's Chalupa, the Chalupa. You guys haven't felt. You guys haven't felt footstools until you've played Chalupa. <laughs> you haven't understand the pure pain of being footstool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best like part is, is Chalupa doesn't know how famous he is. He just sort of does the thing in the background. I literally had never watched a set of him, but I just know him from his, from this particular thing. From from Che and I commentating, we bring him yeah. up like every other set. It's really funny. Um, somebody else said it recently. I don't know if it was a meme. Yeah, okay. We're just like this Chalupi guy. Yeah, this uh, guy. Well, well, the other meme is that he's been the other meme is that he's been gaslighting Ganon mains for like a year into thinking oh, yeah. that Ganon's good because right. there's like a mystery really good Chalupi Ganon and then he prodded out against Morse one time and got four stunned. <laughs> so so the bit is that is that he has a secretly really good Ganon and that he's gaslighting all of us into thinking that it's good. Uh or gaslighting all of us into thinking that he doesn't have it. It's it's a whole thing. It's really really funny. Hey this is actually my color too that I'm just wearing this patch so I guess I can't put a color in Anyhow, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I mean, I, DDD's punish game is also pretty decent. Like, I feel like he gets things out of texture. Nair, like, Nair is, like, I think one of the main things DDD players learn to do is, like, punish over aggression with Nair, especially in this patch where it's better. Um, so, like, just check out the way, like, Ripple uses Nair to, to, to call out uh, Falcon approaches. I was going to ask how good of a combo breaker tool is, because that's how he just used it there. I mean, O'Reilly was about to hit him with a really juicy knee. Sort of I, I, caught the mitten to the face. Right. I wouldn't call fair or Nair like a good combo breaker, like in most scenarios. Wow, he did not do that. He was too, oh, you know, fair with uh, uh, Porto would have killed him, obviously. Sure. Um, so uh, I would consider it not a very good combo breaker because it's a little slow. It's like frame. What is it? What is it? I want to say it's. Six. Sorry, my bad. Okay, sure. Same, no um, which is relatively fast, uh, but it's not like insanely fast. Um, it, it, it typically it, it hits above you, right? So like, uh, it's such a good anti. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Typically, people are comboing you from below you, so there's not a huge amount of scenarios. So somebody has to be really overextended to get combo break um, But how great it up there? Up air. That that one. That is one I can't. I couldn't tell you. Nair, I remember because they, 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 they. Oh no, it's fine. Did, I just mean, is it like faster or slower than Nair? Slower, definitely. Slower. Okay, cool. What do you think of this counter pick, Metal Cavern? Uh, I, I, it makes sense to me. I I, I, I think he gets kind of caught on that top platform, but then again, it's like a little left B. He's gonna get like chain grabs up there if he gets a grab. Okay. 
I just stomp on the stage. I, I can't. I don't really have a lot of intelligent articulation about this stage. I don't know. I, I, I just. I just don't like this stage. I just don't cool care stage. for it. I think it's a cool stage, but I, like I'm glad it's a thing. But I'm just not about it. So I don't. I don't really have like anything more than my emotional reaction that I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> they stage, and they do pretty often. I respect it. Yeah, like you were talking about Ripple covering the uh, the shield drop with the anti-air Nair just sort of gliding around under the platform instead right. of going for anything too middle. Right. Yeah. Uh, down tilt is, is pretty buffed in this patch. Uh, it's faster, and he can he can he can act out a crouch faster. So you you'll see like Ripple will probably like run up uh, run up crouch down tilt, which is just like way faster in this patch than. Ripple has been. Okay, interesting. Oh, that was a nice little cross up. That's another thing I just noticed that I remember commentating Ripple with uh, with Jank, our resident meme DGD player. Um, and Jank pointed out very insightfully that Ripple chooses his openings based off type of waddle very, very specifically. Um, where if he's in that sit back mode, not going in. He might mix things up if it's a waddle do. It's really interesting. It's something I hadn't considered. That's it. Those are two insane stocks that we just missed, by the way. But, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Waddle do's are a lot more threatening than waddle d's, uh, and they're more predictable. Waddle, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, the waddle d's, the jumping ones, not the laser ones. They have like some animations where they don't attack, whereas waddle do's very predictably walk forward and shoot lasers. So mm -hmm. you use them as an assist, as an assist move. Yeah. Oh, oh really? He's been nailing the tech See, on that. Might have just okay, you got him. Maybe. Uh. Oh, he's next stage. Oh, this is like. Ballsy up smash. Great tech. Also, another scenario where DDD is like a kind of strong player character online, I think he's stronger. Sure. Let's see what you mean. What, what about his kit do you think makes him makes him stronger? I don't know. Just things like fair, which are like so unsafe. You can you can throw them out a little bit more. F tilt, things like that. You know, bad di is punished so hard by him. You know, it, like he just wants you to get off stage on bad di, right? He's not worried, especially talking. Yeah. So I find that my di is not so strong. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I guess I should get into this meta too much. Uh, no. But uh, it's just interesting to see how characters are different in, in, in the online environment versus not. Yeah. That was an auto cancel bear, by the way. Pretty sick. Mm. Oh, really? Super mixing up his counter pick, taking him to a uh, to Wario Land now. Yeah, I don't think Ripple likes platforms. Either, so uh, this is probably the one. Okay. That is the first inhale I think we've seen. Yeah, he hasn't been using. He hasn't had to. Use I really so. Yeah, same. Another one of the commentating woes in this era. Here's the other thing is 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 a really is having trouble. He's going high, and I feel like that's it's hard for Falcon to go low. But it's also such a free punish if he goes high. So mm. he's gotta find a way to like kinda get BDD off the ledge. You know, maybe like this is a good stage too, because he can wall jump like up air or something. He just has to be careful getting edge guarded. Scary scenario for sure, but uh, you know, uh, he, uh, Ripple's getting a lot of free real estate up a bunch. Mm -hmm. This By is the question. Way, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's okay. I'll just, I was gonna say I love a really good player. player. Like, never met him, but I watch it. Like, he's he's a person who's I've watched a lot of sets. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, he was the entertaining guy in person. Yeah. I was, uh, I was gonna ask because. Like I mentioned, do you know Jank? I should just say. Hey, okay, there you go. Um, Philosophy of character. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you do have. Um, when is the actual, in your opinion, when is Swallow good? When is Inhale useful? Uh, it's a conditioning tool. I mean, I think the main thing that people don't want to do against it, but it's really like the easiest punish in the world, is just roll behind the Eevee. Um, so you, you, if they're shielding, they're in the best best place to counter, which is to do a roll. Oh my god, yes, I did them so bad later. Right? So yeah, when you're when you're in the position in which DDD wants to swallow the most, you're also in the position 
uh, where you have the best kind of play. You just wow, he's dead. He gave him kind of the spike in It's kind of a little bit of spikiness in that in that move if you're especially for fast falling. Okay. So it's a conditioning tool, you know, and uh, I mean, surprisingly, it can work in air to air. That's a place where you would have the air dodge, and you probably won't get as much of a punish out of that. Um, I actually use it in footsies. I'm kind of weird. I play this character like as a Street Fighter character. Like I want to like play footsies with everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play on the ledge. So I'll like, I'll like, I'll I'll cover them in that way. Where I'll, like, I'll tick tick them into a command grab, which is like a very Street Fighter kind of thing. To do. Yeah, yeah, of course. Ripple's innovation, like while he kind of became famous, was he he, he in 3.02 he. he uh, would you, Connor, are you playing 3.02? Tell me no, again. No, no. Okay. So 3.02, he like wrote this big post on Smashboards about the uniqueness of, of DDD's uh, neutral, the most unique neutral <laughs> in the game. And it was all about the jump mix up. And the fundamental mix up was is he falling down with a swallow, or is he empty landing, or is he coming down with an area? Um, so that was like the initial like revolution I think, for main, like, sure, Fly Amanita played it, but Fly Amanita wasn't like writing posts about it. So I think that still works, but like there is some kind of like like a full hop swallow. Um, yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna stop running. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Oh, weird platform interaction. Oh wow, he got the ledge, which is uh, he's been really like hungry for the ledge. He really needs to get to it before Ripple gets to it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we just saw a 3-0 reset. I mean, what what does O really need to be doing differently? I guess uh, to avoid getting washed like he is right now. Really, three games. You're right. It was. Uh, so uh, you know, like I said, it's like there's a certain kind of player mind mentality that is, I'm gonna win on my terms, and I'm not gonna let the other person enforce their thing on them. I mean, that's the kind of player O really is. I think you could correct me if I'm wrong. Mm, so yeah. Does need to stop going in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, you, that's not going to be a win if you don't. I love how delicately you started to put that. <laughs> I'm the same. I don't. I'm not like a. I'm not like a crazy camper like you. Like you're not going to see me on the ledge the whole game unless I really need to stop. Uh, I'm not. Okay. Oh no, no, no! He got the grab. He got the grab. Um, so yeah, I mean, also I think uh, maybe his his punish on on DDD's recovery could be improved a little bit. Like DDD, you just want to like bleed him of his jumps and then force him to upbeat predictably and like just repeat the rest of the game. Ganon is actually very good. Holding like <laughs> and then and then let jump back there is so good against DDD. Well, what do you think? Is Falcon's bear just not comparable enough to to pull that off? It's actually about the ledge jump. Ganon's his ledge jump makes him faster, makes him go up kind of higher than most characters. Oh, interesting. That Ganon has. Uh, as far as I know, I hope I'm not saying something wrong. I'm sorry. No, that's right. I didn't say wrong things, but that's how I understand it. Uh, that he goes a little higher, like him and Bowser. Um, so Falcon, you know, he just covers a little less space, but he could do it. I definitely, I definitely like ledge jump bear DVDs on the too, um, mm. as DVD. So. Oh God, what's the ditto like? Uh, lots of lo faster than you think because you can throw each other waddles at each other, and you can dash off each other's waddles, right? That's right. That's right. Oh, so okay. if you throw the waddle at you, you can just neutralize the hitbox by throwing it right back. At you. Oh, that's funny. Like no lag. Wow, I love how Ripple just just literally ran back to center stage. How often do you see that? He turned turned his back to O'Reilly and took a few steps back towards the center. <laughs> This fourth game in a row. Yeah. So he, look at that knee. Uh, he need his shield. And one of also Ripple's old thing that I remember him saying is like, I win because people touch my shield. There's no reason to touch GDD's shield. So it's like, he, especially in the front. Like you want to at least cross top. Because if you grab, his grab, his grab game isn't like, it's not like insanely good at getting back. So, uh, you know, approaching from the front is like, and getting shield grab is like, such a treat for a demon. Mm. Wow, he went so surprisingly far from that. Oh, that was nasty. That was that was sick for all. Oh. Let's go. Oh, really? I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, 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 I'm so biased with all the DVD information, and I actually love one of those players, so I don't want anybody to think I'm biased here. Uh. No, it's fine. It's fine. That double mare into. Ah, I, I'm a sucker for those little mix-ups. 
I'm a sucker for like the extra tilt or uh, the extra launcher that you didn't see coming. This yeah, is I mean... fast paced. Oh no, he's, he's killed him again. <laughs> oh no. No, he's. See, like, this, he's still going in the corner. Like, dude, just leave, let him be in the corner. Don't even be. That's the thing. I, I watched O'Reilly versus Jake. I've watched those sets a lot. And O'Reilly win, you know, obviously, I have won some of those sets. I don't remember the exact record, but I've definitely seen some games where he lost. Where it's just like he just kept going into the corner. Oh, yeah. He, just a lack of patience. All right, I mean, well, I mean, this is doable. I'm sorry, go ahead. Man. I want to say it nicely. Not a lack of patience. He's got a, he's got a vision for the game, and he's not going <laughs> to not let him play his super cool style. Does he get here? Okay, nice. High recovery, but it's going to be a rinse and repeat. Oh, my God. Oh, he had the read on the roll in, but uh, misplaced the grab just a little bit. Okay, almost the DI. That will never not be funny to me. DDD slow walking away from you will never not be funny. I don't have you know, know why. Have you noticed DDD doesn't have hips? He's just like a body with legs. Just a ball with legs. <laughs> He's like, like actually that's, that's one of my favorite um, bits that I have with Jank is that DDD's voice is actually really high pitched and the reason he sounds the way he does is because he's hollow. Oh my god. So the sound just reverberates through him. He's dead inside. Oh, yeah. he like it physically off. Oh, like, what's, what's that character from Toy Story 2, the penguin, whose squeaker breaks? He's like that. His voice is super duper high pitched, and because he's so big and hollow, it makes him sound like a big monster. So the other thing I'll say is, uh, he's probably getting, or at least probably getting hit by like a few too many nares and up tilts when he can smash the eye up and out. But I think he's a little scared of like going off stage, so he's choosing to get hit by combos. But you know, at that once you've done it for like uh, oh. you know, a couple of games in a row, like then Ripple's gonna do what he did last stop, which is like just end the combo early with edge. Hit. Sure. He knows that you're not gonna you're not gonna you're gonna di in, so he has like a better option to like end it early with edge. Well, Ripple is knocking on 6-0's doorstep right now, so. O really needs to make some really big hits happen now, <laughs> or, or he's going home. Something I should point out because this is a circuit. Um, Shay, feel free to jump in if you if you have the numbers numbers. But with Morse code eliminated so early, who was in first, and O really was in second place, that's gonna shake up the uh, the big big ranking for the long term. Um, yeah. So, so if I remember right. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pull it up right now. Um, I believe that Norris was in first, but him losing at like what, fifth or something like that yeah. today. I think it was that's, fifth. That I'm pretty sure that puts O'Reilly at at number one spot since so he's been consistently getting second place. Mm. That's got how many has Ripple? What'd you say? How many has Ripple in? Um, Ripple has entered either two or three. Um, one of which. <laughs> One of it, he, de he definitely entered uh, super drunk and didn't make out pools and got angry at everybody. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he hasn't been placing super duper high. This is by far the oh, best yeah. showing. But, yeah, I mean, that ellipsis win is pretty sick, and this is also like to be a pretty sick win if he gets the double, like the 6 0, like this. Oh, yeah, 6 0. This... I don't even remember the last time he's, he's played Chris, much less 6 0. Oh really? That's ridiculous. Yeah, this is this is actually just. I mean, the planets align. Jupiter is in, in in line with Venus and the Moon and all that shit. He's he's fucking on his penguin shit today. Uh, <laughs> would have been kind of cool to see the Ganon, but you had six games, bro. Just show us again and just Falcon. Yeah, so yeah. many miracles. Here's the other thing. Oh really? Has not the eye down the down throw. Like at all, he's almost always gotten the B grab, um, and yeah, it's scary to get F throw and, and go off stage. But like, he's getting a lot of free percentage by not the I the down throw to avoid the two. Hmm. So this game is looking markedly more even than the last one, but um, is it too little, too late? Uh, 
you know, I don't know. I mean, I was really definitely the kind of player who could just go to turbo mode, I feel like. But yeah. You could tell me, does he, does he, does he get uh, slowed down against, like, a, I mean, people hate playing against you, so, like, does he get slowed down when he, like, is getting forced into this frustrating situation? I wouldn't say so. I mean, if anything, I think it's sort of like what you were saying earlier, where he refuses to, to be slowed down. Right. He refuses to take that breath and sort of pays the price. Oh, Ripple's looking for the looking for the the quick uh, swallow side to end it. But at the pace we've been going, all he really needs is another one of those good grab conversions. Oh, the Waddle Dee's gonna help him out. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, really? Let's go. There's a glimmer of hope. See, like he just never even plays, right? Oh. Okay, and now he's not behind. Maybe. He's behind. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I think that's. Uh, I think the rule is that's. Um, yeah, that's a dub. That's a yeah, dub. that's for Ripple, right? Well, hold on. I have to. I have to be the bearer of bad news here, guys. But the, the actual patch notes on this are. Uh, Kididi will now always win if the game ends in swallow side. The fact that it ended in a sudden death means that he probably didn't connect the swallow side. <laughs> Huh. Uh, I mean, you can just give it to him if you want. But I, I, I would, I, 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 they made it so it's no, there's no longer any ambiguity when he got the small side. I'm sure he was getting. So he, they so he must the, have he must have broke out then, is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. He was probably in the tumble animation, so he was probably getting grabbed, but he wasn't in the mouth yet. That would be my guess. I would say it's 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 an edge case enough that if I were to, I would just be like just. Just, I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I don't know. But, uh, Work it out I, amongst yourselves. Yeah, yeah. Anyone, anyone who initiates a double suicide, I mean, that's the person who wins. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's that's what I was thinking. So. Yeah, and it, and it did look like he at least connected with the grab animation, even if it, the game didn't register as such. <laughs> Let's just give it to him. I, I, I've seen <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, man, but that last one, that last stock, Conrad, I was like, I was like what I was saying. It's like he just ate. Three grabs in a row.